why is divorce frowned upon? I yeah. always bring it down to one issue in the ummah is the lack of taqwa and self-accountability. Okay, from a personal point of view, I'll be honest, I will find it very difficult to marry somebody who's divorced. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, please. And a lot of mothers think that their sons are angels, that they just <laughs> fell from the sky and they are perfect. <laughs> Marrying a divorced woman, they think, oh gosh, no, my son deserves the best. He Even deserves a princess. <laughs> Even if he's divorced, divorced himself, himself, he still deserves a queen. The guys, even if they're not in love anymore, they're going to carry on. Yes. The sisters, it seems that when they yes. lose that romantic attachment yeah. and that love and they start comparing and so on, they will fall out. With the Somali community, like personally myself, I've realized that they don't frown upon divorces. I know now sisters that I mentioned before who are actually turning to non-Muslim men because they are yeah. more accepting of mm. divorced women. You're gonna grow up, you're gonna do all those things, you're gonna get married and you're gonna, it's like a status thing as well. And it's like, if you are divorced, you're bringing shame upon the family. The, the Daisy subcontinent culture does frown upon divorce a lot, but I think it's, it's more complex than that because there's a reason. The early stages, for a man, it's, oh, yes, amazing. For a woman, it's misery, etc. On the long run, you guys heal faster. Sisters who have been divorced, they are most likely to work 10 times harder to make that marriage last than anyone else who hasn't, have, hasn't got that experience. Islamnet is raising funds to establish a masjid and community center in Norway and they urgently need your support. This donation will be a sadaqah jariah for you because every person that comes a step closer to Allah through your donation, you will inshallah be reaping the reward. Click the link and donate what you can. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh brothers and sisters and dear friends welcome to another episode of The Bitter Truth I hope you guys are benefiting from this inshallah and do us give us your feedback if you believe that we should improve in certain aspects whatever it may be we are open inshallah uh, before I start, I want to praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the most merciful, the most just, all praises, glory and gratitude belong to Him. We hope that these sessions that we do, um, is the aim is that it helps you guys at home who's on the verge of divorce, which is going to be our topic today, um, or those who are looking to get married, who are married, whatever it may be. Our aim is inshallah to help the family unit and that we can have Muslims who are striving to the hereafter together, inshallah. Um, so yes, so the bitter truth, the email is here. If you want to get in contact, if you want to be among the panel, like our honourable sisters, our brothers here as well, inshallah. Please get in contact, inshallah. And yeah, or if, if you have any questions, you can send it there. So, in a nutshell, um, a lot of people complain I speak fast, uh, but I think I need to slow down. Um, let's introduce our honorable esteemed guest, uh, Halu, the one and only. Tell us a bit about yourself, uh, uh, please. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, my name is Salih Aziz. Um, uh, what can I say? Um, I'm very smart, very intelligent. Um, Can you stop talking about me and yourself? Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> uh, no, no, but I just want to say, honestly, yeah, all jokes aside, everywhere I go, I'm by far the most handsome person there. Mashallah. But today I feel very, very uh, uncomfortable. <laughs> because Brother Gabriel is here. This brother here, Mashallah, is very, very handsome. When I walked in, my heart started beating. <laughs> honestly, like, like... In today's time, yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to like speak slowly because I'm stuttering. Yeah. Like Marshall, like every time I yeah, look at him, bad, I got low on my gaze. You know what I mean? Marshall is a very good-looking guy. <laughs> so yeah, Marshall, thanks for the introduction. You're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome. Brother Gabriel, we know you of course, but just a brief introduction of what you do. Bismillah, Alhamdulillah, Salatu Rasulullah. So I'm a positive Islamic psychology counselor, <laughs> and I work uh, with uh, rebuilding masculinity in the Ummah. I have a Muslim alpha man course. Hello, uh, do you want to sign up? Like, so, yeah, a little bit of a... Me too, I'm, I'm on it as well. Is Am I okay on it? I... Am I on it? You're on it, yes. Thank you. So, you know, we can join together. Mashallah. So, yeah. yeah. It's just so, a little bit of advertising there, if it's okay. No, of course, of course. <laughs> of course, how could we not, Mashallah? You're here for the sake of the Ummah doing something. How could we not support it? The link will be there if you want to. Inshallah, go check it out, Inshallah, brothers and sisters. Uh, brothers who are sleeping on the couch, maybe time to wake up and... Yeah, check Brother Gabriel Romani's, Inshallah, program. What's it called again? Muslim Alpha Men. Muslim Alpha Men. Some sisters get scared when they hear that, but we'll come to that later. <laughs> Our honourable sisters, please, um, if you can start, just introduce yourself briefly, please. Assalamu alaikum. I'm Fahima Mohammed, a broadcaster, life coach, speaker, and work on different channels. Um, yeah. Assalamu alaikum. I am Sister Saul. Um, Bring it close to yourself, sister. Sorry. You're comfortable. I am known as well to be Madina Twins for the brand Madina Paris. Yeah. We design and encourage sisters to be back to modesty, the wow. real one, the beautiful one. 
the blessing from Allah Azza wa Jal. And as well, I have a personal page, Sister Soul, when I talk about divorce, healing, marriage struggle, motherhood struggle with all honesty and encouragement to sisters to go back to femininity <coughs> and being very careful with this all feminism movement. I mean, may Allah bless you from the Amen. clothing line to your personal thing, Amen. to your uh, fem uh, promoting femininity. There's something that's needed. May Allah bless you, inshallah, and preserve Amen. you and allow you to carry on, inshallah. Amen. And sister, I Assalamu alaikum. I am Ira Dean, currently work in a school as well as create contact content to help Muslim women understand themselves better um, to become more self-aware, uh, which will benefit them in becoming closer to Allah. May Allah bless you guys, inshallah, and our honourable sister. So, um, just a, um, got a new concept here, Halu, by the way, just to introduce you. Uh, this is the bitter buzzer. So, okay. argument sake, if somebody is saying something which you disagree with, it can be from our side, by the way, okay. and you're like, you know what, he's maybe, I need to drop a bitter truth here. Okay. So, the moment you press it, I finish my sentence, and you've got one and a half minute to vote in. Okay, very smart. Intro. Okay, cool. Yeah, so cool. Especially, especially for you because I know you need it, but you're only allowed to use it once. Oh. Yeah, because you know you don't like to get married again, so one is enough for you. <laughs> yeah, but I disagree with a lot of uh, things you say, though. Uh, then you're going to have to uh, ask take it, up if, Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, so anyway, so guys, today's topic is quite a serious one. Um, and it's the matter of divorce. Um, divorce is looked down upon. We talked about this on our episode, kind of briefly touched upon uh, on it. Should it be frowned upon? Should divorce be frowned upon? And after we discuss that, what is the healing process? And also, is there lessons to be learned divorce? Is divorce a bad thing? Is it a horrible thing? Is it something that teaches us something? So in a nutshell, let's start off with why is divorce frowned upon? And then we can move to <clears throat> healing from that. Mm. Let's start off with the sisters. Let's start off with Sister So. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm qualified to speak about the main causes of divorce. Not cause, but do you think like divorce is... Generally, it? I yeah. always bring it down to one issue in the ummah is the lack of taqwa and self-accountability for the most part. I mean, okay. if we have to summarize all the causes, they come. we have like 1,000 causes of divorce. Mm -hmm. But I always think with all honesty is the lack of taqwa from brothers or sisters and the lack of self-accountability. Before you were talking a lot about therapy and I was explaining to the sisters like we are in an assisting society. Brothers and sisters are struggling with self-accountability and it's the first step to healing, to fixing a problem, to anything, even to going back to Allah. Azzawajal, you have to first realize that you are in trouble or you need fixing. So for me, those for me are the two main causes of divorce. And, okay, yeah. Sister Aya, you talked about, for example, the, the Asian community. And when it comes to divorce, how is divorce viewed in your community? Um, and because you, you did mention that you yourself got divorced. Um, so I do know there is like this, you know, negativity, like, oh, you should never get divorced uh, by all means. Please. So like you said, divorce is 100% frowned upon. It is the most despicable thing a woman can do. And sadly, it's always the woman who is to blame for because I think culture is toxic. So the South Asian culture is very, very toxic. And we are told from a very young age, our sole purpose in life is to grow up, become a wife, turn your house into a home and raise the children. And therefore, when you are unable to do that for whatever reason, not saying that it's the sister's fault because, you know, there's two sides to the story. Um, the blame comes down to you. Like there is something wrong with you. You are broken. You are defective. And now nobody's going to want you because now you've got a past. You've got a history. You know, you've broken one marriage. Now people are going to be worried that you're going to break their homes. And a lot of mothers think that their sons are angels, that they just <laughs> fell from the sky and they are perfect. Mm. So then when they think about Div marrying a divorced woman they think oh gosh no my son deserves the best he Even deserves a princess himself. Even if he's, he's divorced, divorced himself, himself he still deserves a queen Interesting mm. Interesting Okay well, bro any, like, I was going to press the buzzer but I Oh you held yourself back <laughs> I'll use it because you might need it You might need it somewhere else There's There's a few things that I agree with from what you said that there are certain cultures that do frown upon divorce a bit more than others. Um, if you look at a Western culture, right? It's Muslims within a Western culture. It's still frowned upon. 
but we see a change in that uh, mm-hmm. that uh, assessment. Like it's not that frowned upon anymore. Yeah. Right? And again, we're very influenced by we're you know there's no in Bangladesh, for example, mm. or Pakistan. Mm. It's a more homogeneous culture. What does that even mean? A meaning is more agreed upon, even though there's differences. Homogeneous. It's very homogeneous, right? Mm. And it's quite heterogeneous in the West, mm. meaning there's a lot of philosophies, a lot of ideologies, and the Muslims are influenced by it. There's no way, it doesn't matter what people say, mm. in the end, the environment will affect you mm. to an extent, right? So, indeed, the, the Desi subcontinent culture does frown upon divorce a lot, but I think it's it's more complex than that because there's a reason. Mm. I, I can't, I understand the sister, she's from that culture. Yeah. Um, I am married into that culture, so I have gone there, seen it, understood it, lived to an mm. extent within mm. certain yeah. dynamics of that society or, you know. Yeah. So, but I don't want to make the argument from experience, but I would say that um, there's some good to that. Because if you look at the Pakistanis, the Bangladeshis, the Indians, uh, the Desi culture, yes, they do have a problem with what I call cultural Islam, yeah. which means that um, they make culture. Islam, or Islam fit, fits fit their somehow. culture. Yeah, Islam yeah. fit their culture. And then there's, but then there's also Islamic culture, mm. which is inspired from Islam. And definitely within the Pakistan, there, there are some very, very good aspects. So, should people just jump into divorce? You find that within that culture, they do try to push it as far as possible. Are they going to make dhulm in that? Well, yeah, there is yeah. a lot of examples of dhulm. Mm. But is that necessarily a bad thing if they are, mm. as the sister said, like you're expected as a woman to become a good wife, uh, obedient wife, to build a good house. Those are good things. They are good things. Why yes. are they negative things? They are good things. <clears throat> what becomes toxic is when people don't see where the truth is. So for mm. example, a lot of people come to me with this question. But just because, and we just spoke about in-laws, and I forgot to mention this. But they'll say, just because the elders or my father or my mother, you know, elders, the concept yeah. of the elders yeah. is there and the does that necessarily make them right? So they kind of make they equate being right with the position of that person mm. in the family. If it's the grandfather, he sits at the front of the table usually. Mm. Yeah. Whatever, he's the wise man. He might yeah. not even know how to read Surah Fatiha properly, yeah. right? Yeah. But whatever he does or whatever he says goes. Yeah. That's where the dorm comes in, mm. right? And, you know, the process, like, uh, Omar Khattab, radiallahu for example, he was saying with Abdullah ibn Omar and with some of the Kibar al-Sahaba. And uh, Abdullah ibn Omar, he had the answer, you know, but he said, I was shy to, because of the Kibar al-Sahaba, the big Sahaba, right? He said, yeah. no, that would have made me, but I would mm. be proud of you if you just spoken the truth. On but they that, have right? knowledge. That's yeah, the it's, difference. It's the knowledge and the truth, right? Exactly. It's not about who you are. Exactly. Of course, there is respect for the elders. Yeah. But sometimes that becomes toxic if we take that over the truth. I would say that's where the problem is. So is the yeah. culture itself toxic? I don't think so. There's a lot of great things in the subcontinent culture. Yeah. It's, such as mm. the you know family, how united they are. Yes. The fact that they're going to really sacrifice for each other mm. as opposed to Western culture, the smallest thing, man. The smallest thing, divorce. Yeah. Yes. Divorce. Yes. Divorce. 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 Right away, right? Khola, khola, khola. Talaq, talaq, talaq. Right? Three talaqs in one. If you follow the opinion, that is, yeah, right? you're finished. Yeah, but you see, in that culture, yeah. that's not going to fly that much, right? Because mm-hmm. people are going to interfere. There's certain appearances that you have to maintain, which is good and bad at the same time. Mm. I think we need to be very, very specific. Okay, when so we look at that. Interesting, man. I bless you. Where, where do we draw the line? Because the thing is, it's like I have like I've seen like with the Asian community, etc. This concept with the Somali community, like personally myself, I've realized that they don't frown upon divorces. Like they don't like this. It's like it's calm. Like you know, marry a divorcee. You don't see that with the Somali community. Like from what I've seen, like with the Asians, I have seen it. You, you're from Iraq. Kurdistan. Kurdistan, yeah. But yeah. Iraq side, yeah. Because I'm Kurdistan as well, but Turkish side. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. So so from your from your culture <laughs> is there a problem with that? No, <laughs> yeah. cool. Okay, so from your culture, is it frowned upon divorces? Like, especially a divorced woman, because this is, this is a reality. Let's be real here, yeah. Mm. When a woman is divorced, it's not the same when it's a man is divorced, yeah. Mm. Okay, and in Islam, they're both divorced. Divorce is a divorce, yeah. But uh, divorcee is a divorcee. But the thing is when it comes to 
um, not following Islam and following your culture, as if, like, like they said, the woman becomes like tarnished. And I'm like, where does this come from? Hmm. Sorry, can I? I'm just yes, sister, please. Yeah, I just yeah. wanted to say yeah. something about what you just said, that the the push that our culture gives us can be beneficial. It's a bit like, say someone criticizes you, it's up to you how you want to take it. Either you can get really offended or you can act on it. So even though that is good, our culture doesn't see it like that and they don't portray it like that. Because when you are young, your parents, I mean, I'm Pakistani and so I'm going to talk for my culture. They want you to live your life according to their terms. So you're going to grow up, you're going to do all those things, you're going to get married and you're going to, it's like a status thing as well. And it's like, if you are divorced, you're bringing shame upon the family. Exactly. So I agree to that. Exactly. Even, yeah. Yeah. Interesting. And, and no, so I, I just want to add the fact that um, very often women are double victim. They are victim from a, I'm talking about the one that been left, abandoned, victim of oppression. They are already victims of whatever traumatic event they had to go through. But then this victim, um, an accusation, constant blame, is like she's even guilty for being a victim yeah. of a situation. Wow. I'm, not, I'm not talking about the one that decided to leave family for whatever mm -hmm. reason that seems superficial. I'm not talking about this new trend. I'm yeah. talking about real sisters that went through oppression that have been left abandoned by husbands that think that maybe he could grab someone else and just leave his wife and kids. I'm talking about those because divorces have different reasons, different situations. Mm. I'm talking about sisters that mm. are clear victims because everyone wants to jump on the wagon okay. and all sisters are victims. And mm. no, sometimes sisters need to take accountability. Thank sometimes you. they Thank are you. responsible for their divorce. Thank you. Thank I'm sometimes so sorry. they are I'm divorcing so sorry. for the wrong reasons. Wallahi alaikum. But sometimes and they and, and they initiate it. Like statistics show that, and and it's it's in the, we understand it's in the nature. But even statistics show that rather they, than problem solve, they will like leave the marriage yeah. rather than trying to. I am not saying that's all the case of sisters. It's very mm -hmm. important we represent the real victims yes. because Allah Azza wa Jal has gave a strength. Mm -hmm. um, a position to the husband, rightfully mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. and then sometimes it's abused. It's very interesting, you know that, because I was reading Imam Qurtubi's tafsir, yeah? so basically, you know there's this concept, because we deal with the non-Muslims, etc. like, oh, look at your religion, it's misogynist, because a man can give talaq, but a woman can't. If you look into the tafsir, it's very interesting. What he says is that the Arabian, in the Arabian Peninsula, the Arab mm -hmm. men used to abuse their uh, wives by, for example, I divorce you, yeah? She goes and she says, okay, no problem, mm -hmm. I want to move on. Nope, I'll take you back. Mm -hmm. And there was no limit to it. No. And Allah set it to free talaqs to keep the man in check because he knows, and check this out, this is how beautiful Islam is if you look at it, yeah? Free talaqs is to keep the man in check, meaning you can't stop it from moving on. You've got free. If you can't control yourself and your emotion and you let it be, guess what? When you give the first talaq, what is the ruling? She has to go after her idda period. Depends. She, she needs to go get married again, obviously, be married, marry and then again. divorce. Now for a man, this is very interesting, but if you look at it psychologically, yeah, because for a man to envision his wife with somebody else, so for him, if he's giving that last talaq, yeah, not let's not let's not let's because at the end they say two types of people don't learn: the one who's arrogant and the one who's shy. So we're here to benefit people, inshallah. I know it might be a bit thing, but let's be real here, yeah. For so for a man, he's thinking: if I'm giving this last talaq, what it means is the following: Subhanallah. my wife is haram for me, mm. and she mm. will have to be with another man, which is halal. There's nothing with Allah can say, but. We are yeah. here is a different level, yeah. So that is put in place so it keeps the man to in check. Men, yeah. Even though we can say sister, yes, they initiate divorce, but a real man, mm. talking about alpha course, which people need to sign up to, that you should be a leader and control and be like, hold on a second, if she's emotional, I don't need to be emotional. Oh, talaq, okay, talaq. Come on, man, be a real man. So in that aspect, it's very important for us to understand that that, like you said, our sisters can be, you know, should be taken accountability as well. But yeah, in a nutshell, I just wanted to put that out there because it's a big misconception and that talaq is a responsibility, you know? Mm. Uh -huh. I just wanted, I just was talking about the double shaming of the woman. Okay, let's go because in your culture, mm. what's your perspective? Should a woman be shamed when it comes to being divorced? Uh, would you, would you, the topic is not would you marry a divorcee, but is in your culture, is it frowned upon? Uh, mm. Honestly, I, I'm not, I'm not like too well educated in, 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 in like my culture personally. But how is it? But it's not about education. Like for for okay. culture, when you're growing up. No, like, I just I I personally think um, you, you asked earlier why is divorce frowned upon. I don't think it's frowned upon because if something that's happening so frequently, how can it be frowned upon? Okay, for example, then, let me, let me put it like this here. Yeah, if if you went to your mother, your dear mother, and said, "Yeah, I want to marry a sister. She's divorcee. Yeah, 
bro, in oh, the Asian, yeah, in the Asian community, bro, they'll say hell no. She, mm -hmm. she's a um, yeah, she's Finnish. Yeah. So the question is, marrying someone that's yes, like like oh, is divorce frowned upon? Yeah, yeah. Wait, is divorce frowned upon or is marrying someone that's divorced frowned upon? What's your question? Yeah, 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 both. Sorry, man. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, two different questions. Okay, they go with the, the I second be the host one. Host on this. Yeah, you should. <laughs> <laughs> second one, second one. So, marrying someone who's. Yes, would you, would you uh, marry someone from uh, Okay, cool. From a personal point of view? Personal and cultural. Okay. I can't... Oh, oh, okay. From a personal point of view, I'll be honest, I will find it very difficult to marry somebody who's divorced. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please. I'm just I'm waiting sorry. for someone to press the button. Yeah. No, 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 no. Don't press, don't press, don't press. Mm. Yeah. Me, me, me personally is because... Most men will be like that. Yeah. yeah, it's normal. And the main okay. reason is... The main reason Why? is... The main I, okay, please please. The main reason is, is because... Man, they're gonna kill me for this. No, 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 no. Bit of truth, brother. Bit, brother why oh, yeah, bit of truth. All right, guys, calm down. <laughs> Basically, what what it is is I will find it very, very hard. I will find it very, very hard to be with somebody knowing that she's been with another man. Mm. Now, before any of you try to say, "Oh, that's oh, insecurity," that's that's, that's 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 our third topic, by the way. We're gonna to come to that, but we're talking about somebody who's been married. Honorably married. It I think so. Yeah, yeah, married and, 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 and very important that we use the. Right yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter. Marriage is. Okay, okay. For men, maybe. Okay. That's my point. Okay. That's my point. But as so, Muslims, like, even, it does matter. Even if they've been married, halal away or whatever, just knowing that okay. she's been with another okay. man just like kind of okay. makes me feel. Uh, so, I'll, I'll, okay. I'll connect that's in, to something that's that, okay. that some of the sisters okay. said. I don't remember who said. I'm going to watch the fame after that. Yeah. So, different cultures raise different men, different mothers raise different men, okay? And some of the men are raised by their mothers, and we call them mama's boy. And boy, these yeah. guys will reflect a certain insecurity as they are when they grow up, they're adults. Um, certain cultures, again, um, will have it more than others. And what happens with... Can I interject that? <coughs> yes. After, I'm very if, sorry. If, if you want yeah, to, you press yeah, the button. And after it finishes, it's... No, no, it's okay. okay. Go ahead. Yeah. No, no, it's no okay. let me finish your point first. And then it's just on that <laughs> precise <laughs> point when you said, like, there will be mommy boys and they will reflect insecurities. I know sons from single mothers family yeah. that actually grown very mature early age and took the father's place so they are developing skills right. Allahumma barik, compared to maybe other sons in a normal family that's not what i'm saying though i'm saying that mothers have trained them to be so dependent no, and where's... so weak within I'm a marriage as a single mother no, i'm teaching my son i think sorry let's I, I, might been, I might have been uh, unclear what i'm you, saying you, is you within certain button. cultures okay. Where there's a marriage, you're talking about mother and father mm. raising a boy. The mother okay. herself, not I didn't right. say a single mother. Okay. Sorry. She's within My a married yes. environment. Okay. She'll raise a man that is extremely weak and insecure. And those insecurities will lead to um, the way they think about women. Be it when they marry them, mm. whether this woman is a virgin mm. or previously married and so on. So other cultures will be a bit different. There's two types of insecurities. There's rational insecurities, <coughs> such as, for example, a woman shows a predisposition to being very hypersexual, very loose, and so on. But then the man is going to obviously be insecure about that. And then there's insecurities that are not really grounded. It's basically they reflect your own mistakes and problems, right? Such as being raised, being very insecure, always very dependent on a woman, very close to your mother. I mean, for God's sake, I have clients who still sleep in their mother's bed when they don't feel good. Oh. Well, okay. And of course, <laughs> the, the, the wives won't like crazy. that. No, I'm sorry. I mean, but no, no, no. So how do you react? How do you react? Right. So the way you reacted. So, <laughs> bro, this, this. Yeah. So this, if you look at, for example, the Arab culture, mm. let's say at the time the Prophet So, oh, so did the Prophet marry previously married women? Yes. Yes. Was the Prophet an insecure man? Nope. No. He was very secure. Yep. Right. Meaning that he knew that. Okay, I know who I am. I'm mm -hmm. gonna marry this woman. Yeah, she's had another man before, mm -hmm. but okay. I know why. Mm -hmm. Other Sahaba, let's say people will say, "Well, he was a prophet, sallallahu alaihi wasallam." Okay, taib okay. inshallah, product is true. Mm -hmm. Other Sahaba, right? Did they sit there like, "Oh man, I don't know," right? So today, 21st century men, yeah. They will think that twice, thrice, four, five, ten times. Why? Before Can you tell our views where because is that coming from? Because sisters want to... Because there are two types of insecurities. Okay? Yes. And we, it's hard to tell which one is it. So sisters, if you're watching this, please disclaimer. You know why? They always misconstrue. Right. Please listen to him with an open mind. Yeah. Okay? He's trying to make you understand how, as men, where we are coming from. Please. When nobody's attacking you, please understand us. Okay. Carry on. I have to. I'm so, so sorry. Uh, yeah. No, no problem. No problem. So men will have, as I said, two types of insecurities. Yeah. And it's hard to differentiate which one is it. 
Mm -hmm. Am I insecure because of myself? Because of how I look? Most guys that come to us, they'll say, man, but how can someone have touched my wife? What if he, sorry, touched her better than I did? Mm -hmm. That's a huge mm -hmm. problem for a man, mm -hmm. right? Um, in the back of their mind, they cannot conceptualize that someone has been with his wife or with this woman before. It's very, very difficult. I've tested this in Birmingham University, for example. I had a huge audience, right? And I said, chorus, together yeah. say, guys, yeah. will you marry a woman mm. who's had a past, has made tawbah, mm. and she's now practicing wearing niqab? I said, all the guys together, one, two, three, they all said, mm. no. Mm. I said, sisters, will you marry a guy who has had a past but has made tawbahs practicing now? One, two, three, they all said, Yes. Mm. So it's right. insecurities. We do agree with guys are more insecure. Is, in, of course, type of in the, no, but, that but, sense. no, but in, is it, what's it insecure? But there's two things, as I said. There's rational but, insecurities, see. which mean yes. they see something. So let's say this woman's been married, right? Before, yeah, she will say something. She'll behave in a certain way that mm. causes him to say, "Yeah, I'm not very happy with this. I am insecure mm -hmm. because she mm -hmm. said certain things." Mm. Like women She's can say one sentence. Yeah. One sentence and she'll emasculate you in one wow, sentence. Wow, wow. And a guy, what, what's a guy going to say to a woman? I mean, he might say something that will cause insecurities. Oh, yeah. He can destroy her femininity as well. Yeah, but it's but not the same. Maybe looks like wise. Like yeah, will, yeah, will, maybe maybe on the looks more. Will. Okay, yeah, it's, it's, it's on the yeah. different matters. But I agree with that. Yeah. I agree it's in, it's with interesting. You. I agree with you. But, yeah. but, so that's the rational security. Like, for example, she spends a lot of time outside of the house or mm. with her friends or she's asking for, I don't know, she's still in touch with uh, her ex, for example. For no, kids, straight, straight. Like uh, it's crazy. It happens, it happens. So the guy is... Divorce, divorce happens as well. If the woman is divorced and mashallah, she's praying, fasting or, in, you know, proper hijab, mm. she's, there's nothing there. But the guy's like super obsessed, you know. Where have you been? What are you doing? Brr, always calling. Mm. Every two minutes. You know, there's guys who can't go to work, man. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. go to work, they yeah. call me, they're like, brother, I don't know. I think my wife, you know. That is oh, an insecurity. Is disconnect the internet. That is an, that is an <laughs> insecurity. So the one guy who disconnects the internet yes. before he goes to work. And that's, that's a self-fulfilled <laughs> prophecy so, where, where if they carry on, they're going to destroy, destroy their marriage. No, like it's interesting. It's, you know, so the woman's going to look at him like, what's wrong with this boy, you know. It literally, it and causes it causes a lot of problems. Not only that, I, I think it will put a woman off if a man is behaving in that manner, you exactly. know, because it shows no security. But deep inside the Khira is that that's going to be our next topic as well. Uh, but yeah, it was, um, Me. yes, please, Sister Fahima, yes. <laughs> yeah, I think I agree with everything you're saying. It obviously. Um, and don't forget what culture. he said that he said that he would not marry a divorce. Yeah, I'm yeah, going to get to that. that. Too. But I'm not saying, but I'm not saying what I said was right. I'm just saying. Oh, I'm at least honest. you admit it. Yeah, 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 yeah. of course. So I'm not I saying I'm right or wrong, but I'm just saying. I'm not trying to say that you're insecure. No, no, no. It's just that it's hard to differentiate. It's yes. hard to tell. Like, what is it? Is it just this insecurity? I wouldn't call it insecurity. I'll the thing is, the thing is, I wouldn't say. I wouldn't say I'm insecure. No. Um, I would say it's just like no, but it's, it's a, something. I'm not saying you're insecure. No, 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 I, 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 no, no. It's a hera. No, no, it's yeah, it's, yeah, it's, 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 it's um, That's how man is created. But the Prophet was the most one yeah. who had hera. No, no, but, but let's let's understand something. Yeah, that's that's our next topic. Yeah, is the, the issue is here is that somebody who was married before mm. and somebody who may have committed a sin. Um, even that, I just want to give some disclaimers here because there's people watching here and we don't want to make them go lose hope here. There might be a sister who may have committed a sin. Yeah. yeah? And the thing is, that person might be a better person than many sisters out there that haven't. Let's make mm -hmm. that very clear because we don't want to be like, because many people watching, people come from Jahiriya, they've come new to Islam, mm -hmm. whatever it may be, even if they, whatever it may be, yeah. So we want to make it clear we are not making you feel like you are worthless. No, because Allah says in the Quran that a person who fornicates, would only want to be with a person who fornicates. The scholars say that this doesn't necessarily mean that the person is a virgin, meaning that you might have a sister or a brother that may have committed sin and they repented and they could come and say, I want a virgin. And it's their haq to want that. So just to understand, but just to make something clear, there are consequences, which is going to be our next topic. Is the consequences the same of a woman having this many sexual partners and a man? No, it's not. It is far worse for a woman, but that's a different topic. Let's stick to this topic, inshallah. Sister Fahima, or was it Sister Sol, you were saying something? Sorry. Um, well, I, I do think that um, at the end of the day, a lot of Muslim men would not marry um, a divorcee, mm. whether it's for culture, whether it's for own personal reasons, whether security or not security, because they just have this image from a very young age or generational sort of ways of thinking that, it, you know, it's not really for them. And they do degrade women who are actually divorced. So that's what it is. As much as they don't want to admit it, they do feel that. And they rather choose somebody who has not been in that way. But maybe somebody who was actually married and divorced themselves before may have an experience to show that, actually, no, I understand where she's coming from. 
and it, these things can happen. So that could also be a reason because maybe young men who've never been, you know, married before, they're not going to choose that. And, you know, that's what, you know, happens most of the time. But I do feel that as much as our religion and deen teaches us in this particular way, our culture is really letting us down because I know now sisters that I mentioned before who are actually turning to non-Muslim men because they are yeah. more accepting of mm. divorced women. And that's really a problem. Doesn't mean those marriages work, though. If you look yeah. at it, it doesn't necessarily work. They regardless might of it being it, that working, work. that's well, I can't get away and from it's, that. It's, and no, no, it's haram. It's it's um, it's it's you're, you're sure. committing zina. But yeah, even you, still, they might yeah. just convert them for the name's sake. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, yeah okay, that's so then yeah. that's what I'm trying to say. Well, but, you know, they're just doing it as it is. That sounds fact. This is a good point to mention here when it comes to this idea of previously married women or women have had sexual partners. Um, Why do we put them in the same category? I'm really struggling yeah, no, it's, it's totally different. Which category? Say that again. No, no, the I, one I'm that stick to, has... I'm going to stick to marriage. Okay. marriage okay. Yeah, yeah I, I agree. I agree with you. By the way, honorable I don't think they should be the same. Honorable relationship. Yeah. Halal, halal, halal and haram. Okay. 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 Meaning in marriage. Mm. See, obviously, there's something that's going on in our society today. It's very common in the Muslim social media circle. The red pill. Yeah. Right. A lot of men, young men, consume the red pill. Mm. They watch this content, but that's all they talk about is about previous sexual partners, mm. the sexual double standard, and so on. And yes, there's a lot of truth in some of the signs that they quote from soci uh, sociology and anthropology and all those studies, right? But if you look at their approach and their philosophy, yeah. they usually will look down upon a woman who's had a previous marriage. Mm. They talk about pair bonding. They talk about the alpha body widow, count. They talk about body counts and so on. Mm. There is some truth there is when some it comes truth. to the fitra some. of a man. Yes. Like the man is not like the woman. There's yeah. a totally, totally, and we'll talk about that. But it becomes a black or white thing. Right? Yeah. And there's so many nuances again. When we go back to the Quran Sunnah, you find that, okay, well, what about the Sahaba who were the best? Like how come they did it? What was, what was there that they were able to do? Okay, that they were able to overcome this. But they were living in a different, in a whole I different world. A whole, diff a whole different world because I now you're dealing with some mad stuff. No, no, but see, that's what I'm trying to say, though, is, mm. is that you can go this or that. You need to analyze. I agree with you. There's a lot of sisters who have had certain pasts yeah. and they're not good. But they're, it's very clear that they're not good. And then there's a lot of sisters who have had, who had marriages before and they're good. Right? Maybe a sister who's been divorced, she'll recognize the goodness in you because hmm. of the problems that she had in the past. And she sees the good man, she's like, yeah. man, you are so compared to what I've had before. True. Thank you. And this right. is where we're going to be. Our next topic is going to be yeah. about the divorce. But before yeah. we come to that, that's the healing bit and the divorce, the benefits, like there's benefits that come out of divorce as well. No, just but, the benefit of marrying a divorcee sister. Yeah, and yeah. I want to just insist on the point, mashallah, that uh, our brother here mm. mentioned the really big danger. We have sisters danger with feminism but we have the brothers as well uh, danger with the red pill yes it's not based 100%. on the sunnah 100%. they are talking down it's... on women being divorced and talking the body count yes. how can we even compare True. something that is haram than something exactly. that is halal you are talking yes. about the sisters yeah. that went through halal relationship yeah. the islamic way yes. she didn't choose maybe her situation yes. Um, she been left mm -hmm. and now she has to be insulted by the brothers of her own community mm -hmm. true true but even in the islamic perspective yeah there's two angles yeah number one a sister or a brother from a sister angle yeah that a sister who has committed a sin before so this is not even marriage yeah in islam to bring that that sin it's 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 it's, it's we're talking but about you islam here yeah? but and then the the second yeah, thing even is putting the sin aside there's still sisters yeah. that have taken khula five times no no i, I know i know the same as someone who's been divorced once it's not so we need to look at it. That, true, that, true. But why is she taking Kola so much? No, hundred percent. But what she I'm has saying, five yes, different partners. Um, exactly. But just so, just so, because people who are watching, they don't lose hope. Like, and I just need to touch on because there might be people who have sinned and they're like, I don't deserve anything. Look, look, we're not saying that. We're saying you repented. You're a new person, etc. We'll come to the dynamics of how it impacts a woman more than a man. But yeah, like like you said, for example, when it comes to issue of divorce, like me personally, when it came to my seeking marriage, yeah, um, there was like I've mentioned this before. There was two sisters who both were single mothers. And while I, I wasn't married before, I wasn't saying, oh, this, this, woman, this is my second wife. No, I was just saying, for example, that I was looking to get married. I got to know both of them, yeah? And it didn't work out, yeah? Not for, oh, she was a single mother or she was divorced. Walk some billah, Allah is my witness, yeah? And if somebody's watching this and like, oh, yeah, you know, Ali's doing it to get uh, cookie uh, brownie points. 
I don't care. Allah is my witness. I know. Wallahi, I considered marry them. And I had no problem. Like to me, it was like, okay, three kids might be too much for me. Two kids? Okay. <laughs> to me personally, yeah. But the point is this. I had no problem as long as they're practicing. There are certain qualities that I look for, bro. I had no issue with them being divorced or not. But like I said before, the sister I was saying, when the Asian community, bro, it's madness. Uh, come on, but come on, not be bitter truth, brother. Press the button. Honest, press the button. No, no. No one's pressing it, press it button, please. No. No, just press it. Press. I only get one chance. I don't do that for that. Okay, go on. I'm, I'm gonna wait for a good moment. Go on. No, but like some guys, yeah. their past depends on the decision. What do you mean the past decision? So obviously, obviously like, I don't want to talk about nobody's past, but I'm saying yeah. for example, like my past, yeah. I'm a good boy. Do you know what I mean? May Allah preserve you. Yeah, yeah, May Allah bless you. You're a gem. Yeah, yeah. Speak to, sister, speak to what, Amina? Tell her, tell her. I'm a diamond. He's a diamond, sister Amina. I'm a diamond in the dirt. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? That was a joke, by the way, sorry. Uh, so, yeah. yeah. So, so someone like me, yeah, yeah, I'll be honest, someone like me who didn't mess around with girls, yeah. alhamdulillah. Yeah. Um, so, this, that, that's probably why my mindset is that. But then, but then, but then it, if there was okay, a guy before, if, it, uh, if there was a guy yeah. before who was messing around with girls, mm. and then. So, do you know what I mean? So it depends but, but on the in, past. But in Islam, won't have a problem. But in Islam, no, listen, look, from your opinion, no, 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 no. I'm, talking about, I'm, like, I'm, I'm very guys, sorry. I I'm talking about the guys' mindset. I'm talking about the guys' Because that's, that's we another are topic. all talking about body yeah. counts, um, about previous um, uh, intimate relationship for sisters. Why no one talks about brothers that have many, many past relationships and not very halal? Okay, no one talks about the damage. No one talks about the consequences. You know what? Because men, men will sleep with literally anything. Wait one second. Men will literally sleep with anything. Mm. So Allah Azza wa Jalla. No, no, no. But, but no, I'm no, saying, let's, be, women, let's bring it back women, to women. Ninety percent okay. of women. We're going off topic. I'm so sorry. That's that was my one. Yeah. We're going off topic. Our next topic is: wow. does, a, does a man judge a woman by yeah, her but past? It's about divorcee brothers as well. What, one second, sister. The next topic is: that does a woman judge a man by his future, yeah. and does a man judge a woman by her past? That's our next topic. Let's not go into that now. Ten times and it's still one of them. Hold, hold it for that because that's our next topic. Yeah, we're gonna go to that. Let's stick to the divorces being frowned upon because that's our next topic. We're gonna all this you're talking about. We're gonna discuss it because the statistics. Statistics show that it is more detrimental for a woman no, than it is a man. The but show is about the difficulty for divorced divorces, sisters to yes, get married. Exactly. But so let's I'm stick just to that. pointing out let's the obvious that. with the fact yeah. that why brothers are not struggling, why sisters are not checking their past and see if there is a pattern of four, mm -hmm. five, six. I'm talking about between five and ten divorce or marriages. So you're talking about divorce. For sisters, okay. after one divorce, okay. you're thrown can upon. I answer you? Can I answer you? Sorry. Can I answer you? Yeah. Can I answer you? Yeah. Okay. Press the button. I don't want to lose okay, my chance, okay, please. Okay, right, right. She, she pulls for me, so let me okay, ask okay, okay. I think the biggest issue is, yeah, I'll be honest with you, mm. the biggest issue is, in today's day and age, divorce is being easy. Divorce is easy. Mar getting married is hard. You understand? Okay. So because marriage is hard, men see it as like, I only have one chance to get married. Do you understand? Not true. Not true, what? yeah. No. I'm talking yeah, about my... Yeah, but, yeah, but... With all due respect, with all due respect... You have one. No, no, no. With all due respect, with all due respect, like... Finish. Finish. Mashallah, like, you guys are a bit older than me. So I'm talking about, like, my mm. age generation, group. Generation. Yeah, okay. so my generation, my age group. Their mindset is, I really have one chance to get married. Really? Like, yes, because... No, you... You... Are, and I really respect it, Mashallah. And I don't think... Um, multiple marriages is for no, but, everyone. We, we, we made that point last time. Mm. But my question is, why is it sisters more from the pound mm -hmm. after one divorce and brother's there. divorce She's, he's trying to answer is not I'm going to answer I'm going to answer okay, 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 let, let me answer it, please so, okay, okay, so the point is that's what I told you if you use this you've got one and a half minute bro <sighs> okay next time if you interrupt I'm going to press the button <laughs> <Yeah>. okay. <laughs> okay. so basically the reason is a lot of men today like like 18, 19, 20, mm -hmm. 25 mm -hmm. my age group they're, they're scared of getting married right and they have many excuses not to get married so eventually when they get married they want to go for someone that's not been married instead of someone that's been divorced. Yes. Do you get what I mean? Because marriage has been made so difficult. So what's, so? if marriage has been made so difficult, what chance do you have in their mindset mm -hmm. of going with someone who's been divorced before? So what, but you can go with somebody... Should, should, should be better. But he, he Just wanted to add to that. That's the second time she's done it to me. No, no, no one can speak. She, she's got, sister Aya, you've got to one and a half minutes carrying. Um, you know sisters who have been married, who have been divorced? Yes, sorry. Sorry, sister. <laughs> Sisters who have been divorced, they are most likely to work 10 times harder to make that marriage last than anyone else who hasn't, have, hasn't got that experience. The reason why is because we've gone through that traumatic experience. We know mm -hmm. what it entails. We know how to be a wife or at least partly know how to be a wife. And we will sacrifice more to make this marriage work, to keep him happy because we know what we did wrong because we have healed 
from that yes past no. experience. Yes. Let, let finish, let finish, let finish. Carry we on, have learned from that, we have healed from that. And we know, right, if I was to nitpick, for example, I know this marriage is not going to work. Yeah. So she's going to change that, right, to make this marriage work harder. Mm -hmm. But you finish, right? finish, you finish, you finish, oh, How long left? Are you finished? <laughs> how long left? You've got 20 seconds left to start. 20 seconds. Then go for it. Okay, cool. The issue is, yes, okay, you know this as a as a female, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but the men of the generation don't know this. That's the they issue. They do know that. No, they don't know that. They no, do they know don't. that because... Oh, because also, no, but no, I do agree this. with the... Uh, they don't know this. They don't know this. Actually, I promise you. They you think the reverse. <laughs> they, they think because of the trauma, they don't we are more involved. likely to get away from the marriage if anything goes wrong because, oh, she used to do that because she's... Always yeah. to blame. Because, sorry, to drop, because we've labelled her broken. Also, we've blamed, also, also, because we've blamed her for her first failed it's marriage. Possible. Rather than saying, okay, it didn't work out, that's fine. It's 50-50. A marriage that's doesn't it. break because of the woman. Oh. It breaks because of no, both sometimes parties. It does. No, I'm sorry. Sometimes it does. Yeah, 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 sometimes but, it breaks but, because of the woman. But what I'm trying to, and I agree with what you said, with a yeah. sister that didn't okay. choose the situation. But what I'm trying to emphasize on is that sometimes mm. sisters will self-sabotage the next okay. because they didn't heal. Yeah, they didn't go through ah, that problem. Which we're going to come to after, yeah. very key. Yeah. Yeah. The problem is that we're not understanding the, the fitra of the man and woman. We're very different. Mm. So the value of the woman and the value of the man are very different. I mean, I don't want to go into what we're going to talk about. No, but it's time. true. It's true. But it's, it's very different. So men, a, a woman's value is, is in her chastity. And I don't mean just by her being chased through just marriage, but it's basically what she's been through even, you know, so it, it is linked to yeah, intimacy. Pa past and future, because Allah says in yeah. Surah Nisa 34, and yeah. when, you know, looking yeah. after the house, yeah. etc. So it, it, they're just different. The, the male psychology and the female psychology is very, very different. Uh, the man is going to look at the woman who's been divorced or has gone through a divorce uh, in a way that someone's been with her, They've had some issues, some traumas. I'm going to take her on right now. Those problems might come into my marriage. Mm, exactly. Okay? Look, it, we can't go. Okay, but can, he doesn't know. Okay, he but can, know. can she not say that about the she, man who's divorced? Yeah, yeah, yeah no, no. But that's but, the thing. Her mind way, is but, not like that. Her mind is, is different. Not, a my woman mind is going to but, is going to take on more of a chance of, of you know just kind of overlooking the man and his past. I disagree. Okay. Yeah. All right. I think they do. I think my, women, I women, women have... And that's why I encourage women so, so, to do so, is to check the past okay. to see if there is not a pattern. I got We're a message. About but, one but or two I, I, I understand where you're coming from. But mm. women will not yeah, do most as of them much won't. Okay, so, so, as, so, as so, men I've got, I got a text okay. message. Why? I've, got, I've got a text message from my wife. So she's saying, mm -hmm. why isn't it frowned upon men? She's saying the psychology of, of women is different. They're looking at the divorce. They're they're willing to risk more to get into the marriage, and to you know kind of like they'll say, well, if the guy had a past, mm. um, his value doesn't necessarily decrease mm. in her eyes. I disagree. A lot. Oh, okay. Interesting. Oh, let's listen to this, please. Okay. okay. Carry on. So again, Sorry, I'm I'm excited. going back just on on yeah. what I've learned from female psychology. They're mm. going to look at a man with experience, especially in intimacy as not necessarily as something halal or whatever, but she's not going to have such a huge problem with it. Unless True. this guy's been some dirty, you know. Yeah, yeah, of course. Right? Yeah, but she's not going to look at it that way. The man is going to look at the woman in a different way. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. She will. Yeah. I, mean, I actually will. do it's agree. Fact, no, I agree. I think even personally, being divorced myself, I wouldn't want to even go with somebody who has never been married before. I would choose someone mm. who was married to understand me because I think I understand where you're coming from because you might feel that, you know, you take it on somebody who has got things, whether they've healed or not. It's not mm. something that you may be able to handle the fact that she's come from that. Right or wrong as it is, this is just human behavior. And, and, and I want to go is. back to, sorry to interrupt, yeah, bless you. one I'm point interested. that the sister made with regards to polygyny. <laughs> See, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't rule something for no reason yes okay yes a man will choose a virgin over a non-virgin but depends again in the hadith of of, of the where the process and spoke yeah. about that that man he the sahabi said but i have like i think he had sisters he, he, had, had, sisters. he had kids i think the one who said the process why did you marry someone sisters. so he said then this yeah. is better for you someone okay. who's got more experience in that but you see when you make it, and again, I'm not, I know people are going to have an issue, but I'll, 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 you know, I stick by what I say. I don't care. It doesn't matter. It's the bitter truth. It is the very truth. Um, I'll take responsibility for what I say. Yeah. I believe um, 
that polygyny is a solution for this because if a man marries his gotcha, can I can't shave my hand. Sorry, yeah. This can guy say, is. Can you, why are you so okay. hungry? Can, 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 can we let him? Can we let him? It's not about that. You said I'm hungry, bro. No, no, no. Okay. No, no, no. He's not joking. So, he's not, he's not joking. <laughs> so <laughs> polygyny and I'm is. Polygyny is, is, um, <laughs> like, is hypersexualized, right? Because it's always looked at from a intimacy perspective. Mm. It's not. It's a huge responsibility. A man has so many more, four, mm. three times more uh, options of going to hell. When he is in mm. polygyny, okay, because yeah. he doesn't do it right, right? Yeah, yeah, because the hadith of the Prophet said, "Are you married?" So, Are you married? But it plays a big part. Yeah, of course, it's one more. Long term. Unless uh, uh, we we uh, we have the right to remain silent. More than one. Oh, I, 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 yeah. okay. Of course, of course, gonna say that he's got more than no, no, one no, no. wife. Well, so what? But what's your point. problem? If I had more than one wife, I'd be pro polygamy as well. But I only got one wife. No, it's not about you can't that. be. It's about that. I mean, it will kill you. Solution because for these sisters who are divorced, right? So the guy has had, let's say, takes his virgin, right? Then he marries another wife, a second wife, who's been divorced. He might find that the wife has been divorced better than the wife. Exactly. This is this yes, is this yes, is this what yes, we need yes, to talk yes, about. Yes, 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 because we're thinking as like divorces are like damaged goods and they no, psychologically they got nothing to offer. How are you gonna know nah, what a woman on. has to offer who's been divorced? If but a never... divorce is not just for second marriages. No, it's not. I totally agree. Exactly. With you. That's not exactly. what I'm trying to say. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I I, that's that, not what I'm trying to say. Well, let's say he marries the first wife, and I do believe personally that if you marry your first wife. As a divorce, you're even more mature woman. It is better. In the process, I married Khadija. Yes. Mm. And even after her, Selda. Mm. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, okay. Wait, wait. And <laughs> then with Aisha. Aisha and Selda were within very close mm. yes. time. Yeah. Okay, radiallahu anhu. And you will have an easier time yeah. to move on. And maybe you can, okay, if a second or third, you can still marry your virgin if that's what you want. For men, that's like a trophy thing, isn't it? Yeah. It seems. But see, those women still have the ability to marry a good man mm. if she's been divorced. So what? She's been divorced. Okay, if, you, if your issue was, oh, I need to marry a virgin because I was a good boy or whatever. Okay, whatever that means. Not that I'm making a, <laughs> yeah. a go at you. Oh, no. But, yeah. but, so, you, okay, you can still have that. Mm. If that's the, it's, is that the issue that's stopping you from marrying a divorced woman mm. or a woman with children? Look, because if that's worse. the issue, then you have a chance. You can still do it. I think a mature right. alpha male can actually handle a divorced person mm. more than someone Whoa. who is... What are you trying to say, sister? Yeah. No, I'm just saying you're trying to say, you're trying to say, you're trying to say <laughs> Exactly what I say. Right. Listen, listen. I'm very alpha. <laughs> Trust me. Do you know what I mean? No, no, listen. listen. Okay, no, don't... I just think like, so. I may one day get divorced or something like that. May Allah protect you. May Allah protect you. No, no, no. no, 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 no yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm saying one day I may be in a situation where then, you know what, I may say, you know what, I'm, I may think differently. But right now, I just... Mm. It's not like an insecure thing. It's just like... If that's my wife and I love her, yeah. Yeah, no, I totally like, understand. Like, I can't, like, just... just no, no, I, I mean, think we need to go totally past understand. this yes, issue. Please, yeah. that we have this idea that, okay, there is value in virginity, no doubt. Okay? But I'll, I'll go based on my experiences in counseling my, my clients. There's been many men who have been married to virgins and they've made their lives hell. Yeah. <laughs> so There's many men who have been married to divorced women and they've made their life very good. Right? So you have to vet... Exactly. The wife, true, you have to point, make sure yeah, she's point, a good yeah, true, woman. True. You have to make sure you, you test everything. Do your due diligence. Yeah. There is value in virginity. I'm not saying that there mm. isn't, because mm. the Prophet mm. said exactly. that. He advised that. I'm not saying there isn't, mm. but it depends. That doesn't mean now, okay, just like if a woman wears niqab, does that mean she's going to be a good wife? No. A lot of brothers make that mistake. Bro, oh, please. please. Wears niqab, please. Don't, get, don't, don't, get me, don't get me started, please, brother. Please, <laughs> oh, bro. Please. Yeah, but don't take us down either. No, no, never, never, <laughs> never. No, no, no. You no, no, no. Is that enough for, for a person yes, yes, to make yes. a, a I felt so comfortable for a second. No, no, is sister. Is that enough? You, you, Michelle, is, Michelle. Is virginity enough to make yeah, sure yeah, that she's a That's what I'm saying. Yeah, just, 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 just like a disclaimer as well. Look, our sisters who observe the hijab, who uh-huh. wear the niqab, yeah, who are the, even those who are striving to. No, alhamdulillah. Hats, hats, hats off. May yeah, Allah bless you guys. No, 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 bless, no, let's be honest. Let's, let's appreciate the fact that you guys are out there. You have this attire. Look, I can walk. Don't want to say, I'm, do, I look, I, do I look like a Muslim? No, maybe I'll come on. Maybe I'm one of those guys in the Camden Town punks. Yeah, they grow their beard, yeah? No, it's true, but you guys are symbol. You're carrying that symbol on your head. So may Allah bless and preserve you guys because it's no, very important. it doesn't important. mean that we are sacred. I have to agree 100%. aside with what the brothers say. Yeah. They mean that it's not because we niqabis or we hijabis or we jilbabis yeah. are perfect or better wife than some. I am the first one to explain it on yeah. my account, Sister Soul. I do not like the sacred like responsibility that we have because we're niqabi. No, we are human beings. 100%. We are imperfect. 100%. May Allah guide us and same, perfect us. Same I with mean. the brothers with the phobes and the beards and the hats. But I, I want to go back to two concepts. When going back to the cause of divorce, and I'm going to join 
uh, our brothers, um, uh, Gabriel, Gabriel? Gabriel. Gabriel. Gabriel, sorry, um, on a point that I think one of the main causes we forget to speak about. He, mashallah, barik, and I appreciate that the fact that he mentioned our Prophet, Ali Salat was salam, the most self-confident, the most healthiest example we ever had that didn't feel insecure with marrying. There has never been an issue with marrying a divorce. Why? Because we go back to the ayah for the reason why we choose a woman in the first place. And yes, maybe it is like a sunnah to marry, especially if you're a virgin yourself, to marry a virgin person, subhanAllah. But Allah Azza wa tells us to look at what? Please, can we remind ourselves that no one meant, since before we are talking about all the reasons, the taqwa. taqwa. The taqwa, mm -hmm. subhanAllah. This, and the taqwa of a divorcee is not lesser than the taqwa of a virgin. Because, and I insist mm -hmm. on that, that a divorcee sister, it depends on her healing journey. That's why I always mm -hmm. advise, see how she's about on her healing. What did she learn? And even when I took myself to divorcee brothers in an Islamic meeting in a muqabala and asked them, what did you learn from your previous marriage? I don't mind the fact that the person is divorcee. What I mind is the journey, the lesson, the wisdom that he has understood, making sure you don't do the same mistakes. And you know what the first thing I listen to? I look for accountability. Self-accountability, wow. mm -hmm. not saying my wife did this, she was this, she mm. was awful, she was horrible, like most of the brothers. Brothers, what she was doesn't matter. What did you learn about yourself? Mm. And divorce I want to talk about was the most self-reflecting journey, not about me bashing my ex, but what I have learned about myself, my flaws. And wallahi, this is a blessing from Allah Azza wa Jal. If you are able to sit in the mirror and say, you know what? Forget him, forget what happened. May Allah guide him, may Allah forgive, mm. and may Allah better all our situation. But it's to be able to look in the mirror and think, what are the things that I can take from this experience and how can I better myself and get closer to Allah Azza wa Jal? Okay. And this is why I just want to go back to the importance Good. of taqwa. So let's 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 go to now the healing process of divorce, inshallah. Let's talk about that. And like I said before, I know many examples as well, people that I know. Um, sometimes it's that divorce. Like I, I was... Uh, I know a brother and I was speaking to him and he said, if it wasn't for my divorce, I would have destroyed my marriage today. He goes, if it wasn't for the divorce that I went through, I would have not valued my wife. I would have not appreciated her and I would have ruined it. So that divorce that he went through was the biggest blessing for him. Number one, it protected him from zina. Number two, he had a child. Number three, the mistakes that he learned there, he didn't apply it here. And that's why Allah so sometimes puts you through huh? You got remarried Yeah, you got remarried Yeah, divorced oh. And you got remarried So sometimes divorce that we've looked down upon It's something that is a blessing But let's bear in mind When we talk about the Sahaba's time The Prophet's time yeah, you The woman, you say the that, woman bro, there are not the woman today And the men there That time is not the men today we're talking you about You be careful when you say that though, bro What do you mean by that? I'll be honest with you like Okay, so this brother here These sisters here The more experienced They do counselling They yeah. do whatever Yeah. And uh, they're, they're qualified I've, I give marriage advice like here and there, but I've been doing it for like two months, giving my opinion. <laughs> no, no, no. Why are they laughing? No, no, no. Two months, two months is, is, yeah. is great experience, you know, every yeah, day. Yeah. Every day, you know? Yeah, go on. No, 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 but honestly, like, yeah. I speak to mainly my generation. Okay. And What was the issue that you have to do what I said? You're saying that sometimes, mm. I understand your point, yeah, but yeah. I'm saying some people might take it in a wrong way, where you're saying sometimes a divorce can be a good thing, which mm. I agree. Yeah. But I'm saying people... Think of that and listen to that and think, okay, I'm gonna get divorced. No, 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 no. I mean, if no, if, no it is. Oh, yeah, the child. I'm telling you guys, gonna do the amount of no, people. No, we are talking about people that already divorced, already didn't divorced. choose it, and how to yeah, accept yeah. Already divorced. Faith. Not yeah, I know, I know, yeah. I know, yeah. I know. But I'm saying people right now will be going through the same situation, mm. and we're here. You know what? Some divorces are good, mm. and then the they're going. They're thinking about divorce and they hear that they think, you know what, maybe me getting divorced is a good thing. But, but, and, then, but, 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 and, then, and then they yeah. end up getting divorced. Look, we, we've I'm talked... Like, we, yeah, you, need yeah, careful, issues, you need to be careful, yeah. like, true, explain true. the point. So. Yeah, true. Like, the, the aim is very simple, yeah. Like, it's very clear with our episodes and shows that the whole point is to build the family unit, not destroy it, yeah. But what we're saying is that for those who are divorced and they're in despair and like, Stop. you know, this, that, to say, you know what, it can be a lesson to be learned and there's many benefits out yeah. of it. The fact that it protected you from zina. The fact that it protected you from zina is a massive thing, bro. The one who's going to stand in front of Allah, who's committed zina, and the one who's going to stand and say, I got married. The mountain, bro, there's a mountain. That's number one. Number two, learning lessons. So we're not saying if you're on the verge, we would go back to our other episodes that we're going to talk about this as well, inshallah, in depth. But let's talk about now, because we haven't got much time, about healing. So there's, you, you're, you, you do coaching. So please, let's start off with you, inshallah, and then go to Sister Saul, and then from there. Yeah, and also Sister Fahima that's coaching as well. So when couples come to you, how do you help them to um, heal after a divorce? Or if you, if you do that. Okay, so 
with men and women is different. Okay. There was a study that was uh, published in 2020, I believe, about committed couples who have fallen out uh, divorce. And there's a misconception that somehow guys heal faster. Mm. It's not correct. No, they don't. It's not correct. They, don't. they actually heal slower and it's more painful. We're talking here about when they're committed. I'm not talking about the. Mm. I think a lot of times when we look at guys, we feel that these boys, they just kind of jump around from no, woman to no. woman, they just move on and so on. I'm talking no. about like a, a man who's been in love mm -hmm. with his wife yeah. and she's supposedly in love with him. Mm. They fall out, they have a divorce. Who moves on faster? Who, who heals faster? The woman, it's, it's, it's clear. Yeah, the There's a doubt about faster. this. That's mm. what, the, that's what the, the, the study showed. Yeah, can, and, I, can I? Uh, if you, yeah, press it. Please. Sorry. But let me finish the point. Yeah. It, can you press it again, please? <laughs> but finish your point. Uh, so what I'm trying to say is, is different. So with women, naturally, they're going to have a um, faster, a wider support group. I, friends. I agree with you. Usually when sisters have a problem, mm. pretty much very fast they'll go to yep. someone. They can have someone that they can, they can cry about support it. to, someone they can cuddle with, someone they can get a hug from, and so on. Men, mm. not so much. Okay? So the way we approach healing for men and for women is, is very, very different. Women would want to understand uh, what the problem was. They want to work mm. on themselves. Mm. They do blame themselves a lot mm. of times. Uh, yeah. you know, okay. they, yeah. It happens a lot. So you have to build with women. Like it's, it's a bit different. You have to approach and dissect everything. They want to understand. For the guys, mm. um, they're very hard to open up. It's very difficult to know. Like what, what, what is the issue? That's, what was your issue? That's one of the reasons so, high rates of suicide amongst men. Amongst men, yes. yeah. Okay. So what I do with men is I'll yeah. focus on them building themselves, their confidence, their mm. value, and so on. Mm. And with women, most likely will have to dissect and go into details mm. and understanding was there fault, was there no fault. Uh, you really have to go into details. That's how kind okay. of Okay, okay. So, sis, one and a half yeah. minute. Yeah. I agree and disagree. The way he said, like, sisters go through healing or women in general with the fact that dissecting the guilt phenomena, everything, sisters will completely break down. Like, completely break down. Okay. Compared to a man, a man can move on quicker. But what I have realized through my experience myself and through other sisters that I speak to, yeah. even though the consequences of the divorce will be more dramatic on the sisters straight away, but in the long run, yes. I find that men heal less mm -hmm. because they didn't take that time maybe to take that healing time to dissect the reason things maybe they need to work on no they just move on and it's part of as well the qualities but there can be a flow when you go through certain event like that so mm. i will agree and disagree but sisters for me or women in general mm. they will completely break down 30 seconds but in the long term they will heal better they will move on and when they healed they healed men i never really met so far a man that really took the steps through the healing and self-realization, self-accountability. So the damage is in the long term. That's why we need, we see many people in the street that are houseless. And when you speak to them, very often I was very surprised. It started with a woman. Yes. With a divorce. Allahu Akbar. Thank you. And your time is up for that, sister. But it's true because the thing is when it comes to divorce, women divorce way before the initiation. Mm -hmm. So a woman starts the divorce process so when a brother comes and says, no, oh, my, yes. my, my, my no, wife, no. my wife. Sometimes she's left. She didn't, no, 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 no. no. One second. One second. One second. The, the, no, 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 one uh, second. By the way, you and I agreed. We say the same thing. Yes. Yes. Okay. The, the thing, okay. the thing, the thing is here is this. Yes, it's a non phenomenon. Yeah. Okay. The early stages for a man, it's oh yes, amazing. For a woman, it's misery, etc. On the long run, you guys heal faster. And that will be, I believe, because we're physically stronger, you guys are psychologically stronger, and you can cry. I can't go to my friend and cry. I can't go to hijab and be like, oh, you give me, probably give me one slap. <laughs> yeah, uh, come back to your senses, okay? <laughs> come here, let me slap you. Yeah? So the thing is, we can't do that. You can open up, you can cry about it, and it's therapeutic. We so heal. that's the, that's the yes, that's the case. And not only that, sometimes for a woman, she pre plans ahead. When she, if a brother comes to me and says, my wife wants to divorce me, and I'm talking about divorce, not that, oh, I'm emotional. No, she's like, I'm like, bro, that divorce started a year and a half ago. It's just, it's, she's, he's, she's told you today. Too, she's told you, no. No, 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 no. I'm no, sorry. I think women emotionally I, I leave their relationship yes, first. Yes, yes. Connect. They yes. They and it's not because. In order to heal. Yes. They won't mm. There we go. Yes, yeah. Go and it's not necessarily because it. we want to divorce him, but he is doing something. That is pushing me further and further away, no matter how hard yeah, I try so and put my depends. hand out. It depends and, on and yes, it does depend on the situation mm -hmm. and the woman itself, but for the most part anyways. And I think in order to heal, women are self-sabotaging. If mm -hmm. we are left with a child, 
society and the culture will constantly shame us. They will look down upon us. Five years down the line, you want to get married. Oh, well, she's divorced. Oh, no, we don't want her. Ten years down the line, still the same thing. So it comes down Unless to how strong it comes down to how strong mm. the sister is and how willing she is to heal, how willing she is to make her future better. Okay, I've got about seven minutes of the show left. Can we just talk more about, let's say, healing, sister Fahima? So, so for example, what advice would you give somebody's divorce, a sister or a brother, um, and they're like, you know what, I don't want to live anymore, I've got nothing to look forward to. What would you give an advice to the sister who's watching this, who's divorced recently? Um, it is definitely a grieving process. So basically you need to take time to understand the steps that you're going to be going through certain feelings and emotions. And you would be advised to speak to somebody who can help you unravel that, regardless of how it ended and who's, who is it, the male or the female. I think it really is important that you know you seek some sort of advice outside family, outside friends, so that you can actually get through the process a lot more easier and quicker and it can be quicker if it's done in the correct manner but I think that generally women will find it a lot more heartbreaking and I do feel that as much as you say that women initiate it regardless of how independently financial they are they don't want to break mm -hmm. their homes when they have kids believe mm -hmm. me they really don't and you know if they are forced to it's under very extreme circumstances yeah. a majority of muslim women that i know coaching around the world as well they really don't want that because they actually know what you guys are thinking about a divorced woman so a lot of the mm -hmm. times it is not their choice and they do not go for it so let's just get that out of the head as well because uh, yeah um, <laughs> alhamdulillah i was going yes. you just got me back from last episode <laughs> no no there's no getting back don't do that yes no i mean Women have to tell, t take accountability. Thank you. Okay, it's not like that. I don't think all the women, they don't want to get divorced. There's women they don't who really, will they, come unless after there's a divorce, reason. After divorce, after the divorce and they'll say, I don't know why I've done it. I've just done it. I felt like doing it. I felt no. out don't you think for it. He's a good guy. He's a great man. I regret it now. Yeah. Um, for the wrong reasons. A lot of women are easily influenced today. Okay, mm -hmm. we have to understand. Um, I've had couples divorcing or threatening to divorce like about three weeks ago I had a, a sister who in front of me and her husband three of us online mm. said that well if i would have known that he has an issue with my social media uh, activity i would have not married him like i don't really want to be if he controls me like that i don't want to and i was like well you Does gotta choose your social media of your your husband <laughs> and i said i'm sorry if you'll be my wife i'll you know, peace out you know <laughs> sorry about that yeah. but like no, a lot of sisters they are easily influenced. They it's they have to take accountability. Some divorce for no reason. We're talking about just the good sisters and the good brothers. Yes. Okay, I agree. That yes, sisters will have. They don't want to break their homes. I don't think anyone wants to. Break, I don't think any man wants to break his house. No, no way. Okay, if we're talking about that, I do agree. If we're talking about just in general, let's people being influenced by society, by culture, by social media. Guys will look at what they'll look at. Well, she's not as beautiful as the one that I've seen online. So you're talking about the right? new generation. They start, mm. Yeah, they start looking mm. at that. And the sister will be like, well, he's not taking me to Dubai as my friend's mm. taking her. her exactly. Friend, exactly. That. I don't, he's not so romantic as I'm seeing some, you know, or this. So mm. People are influenced. Mm. And a lot of these influences uh, are causing people to fall out. They're sister. not coming from Dean. They're not coming from That's this. the problem, though. That's yeah, the problem. They're, they're not, not coming, coming from, from they are, they, that who, is, who is coming from Dean, Dean today? How many people can say, mm. we've had great people are praying, fasting, everything. And when you analyze their divorce, you go back to it and it's like, well, uh, my wife is, is not as beautiful as, you know, the ones that I've seen. I can do simple better. Simple as that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And then the sisters no, will be like, and, and the sisters will, and the sisters will and say kids. like, yeah, but he's not so romantic as this movie that I've seen. Or is is not? I don't feel the same butterflies that I felt at the beginning of our marriage. Yeah, because it's sisters, you have to understand there Nobody is knows. this. Um, well, is for good. guys, uh, being romantic is there at the beginning? Maybe that romantic love. I think Muhammad was talking about right the mm. importance of love. Right, mm. just in the previous episode, I was gonna say something about that. But guys are still gonna go on if that romance is not there even in today's world even it, it, today's exactly okay but women today men carry on bro i've, I've seen this yes let me finish let me let me let me, use it. Let, me let me uh yeah. clarify that yeah today's we're not talking about the great brother and the great sister who yeah. are religious yeah. that you know that that uh no, no, no. i'm talking about mm. today's social media let's say gen z 
Yes. Okay, Gen Z after 2000. The guys, even if they're not in love anymore, they're going to carry on. Yes. The sisters, it seems that when they yes. lose that romantic attachment yeah. and that love and they start comparing and so on, they will fall out. They start looking for other. And like I was looking like 2017, for example. That scared me, you know. 2017 Whoa. was the year that women started cheating on men more than men cheat on women. Stop okay. Yeah. Yeah. They used to, men used to cheat more, really? but now yeah. this, is, this, is, this, is non, this is non-Muslim men, but the they, woman. Yeah, but it's important but still, to understand it's the dynamics. No, no, no it's no, coming. No, it's Muslim, I'm getting more cases. No, like no, no, no. Yeah, so see, this is important. Yeah. Where is this stemming from? This is important because let's put... So women, what I, what I, again, what I, what we hear from sisters is that they lose, they don't feel the passion anymore. They don't feel the love anymore. He doesn't love me anymore. He doesn't look at me the same way. Uh, women are complaining more right now that men don't give intimacy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, so pornography. Men, pornography plays a role. Issue, but let's not, you know, we're not. It's a different get issue, it. but yes. But women are Relationship complaining. Issue. Guys used to be like, oh, I'm not getting enough. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now women are saying that he's not this. They're he's becoming not more like the men. It, it, yes, oh, there is. And we can talk about that as well. I was there's, go to that. there's a huge mm -hmm. issue. So, again, the question is, is why? Um, yeah, that's probably another topic. Yeah. That's, that's a, another topic on its own. Yes. Just um, add a point with what the brother said about my Um I have to agree and disagree. Yeah. I find that men today are following the Shahwa more than our fathers and our grandfathers. Our fathers and our grandfathers, may Allah bless them, yeah. they used to stay. Even if the next door girl, young girl was beautiful, they would stay with their wife and kid. I found them, they were more resistant to fitna. How, I'm talking about the previous no, no, generation. Understand. They will preserve the family cell. I'm not saying they were perfect. I'm saying that the preservation in my culture mm. of um, yeah. family cell, yeah. we talk about women, mashallah, they were patient, they were like, um, they had a lot of sabr, but we don't talk enough about our fathers. Mm. They stayed, many mm. of them, not saying all of them, yes. many of them stayed. And I want to just add a point with the fact that thinking about all that, one of the main issues that causing divorce today is the lack of real masculinity in men's and the lack of femininity in women's. Yep. Women's are turning into men's, but no one talks about the fact that mm. men's are turning into women's. Absolutely. They have those passion. I want to be loved. I want the next. That's no, 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 no. We, one we of do. the cause of no, no, but divorces. Soul. They no, leave. No, sister Soul, we don't, what, what happens with the, the rise of Andrew Tate and, for Sorry. example, many people like that, is we don't come and say you are, you are like a woman. We say how to be a man. So, yes, you don't hear much of no, no, because the fact that they are talking about how to get your regain your masculinity, but one of the masculine the, things the to do thing. is to stay in your marriage, fight for your marriage, be yes, a good yes, provider, but, but, be sis, a good protector, but sister, a good carer. Brothers yes. are losing that. I understand, but sister, you said that you said you said that our fathers, you said that our fa uh, like you said you like your fathers who would stay if they if they saw another a woman. They were good providers yes, and carers. Yes, sister, I understand hundred percent. But guess what? These sisters today are divorcing their husbands. Because he wants to get married again. This is a different topic, but I'm just touching up on no, it. No, that's but not the majority of cases. No, no, sister. No, uh, very simple. Right, well, a simple question. Yeah, um, sister. Be, sister Aya, please be brutally honest. If you have, if you had a good husband, good husband, protector, provider, very good, etc. He goes and gets a second wife. Are you staying in that marriage? Please be brutally honest. I will consider it. Oh, you liar. Nah, no, no, you can't. No, no, no. No. Sorry, sorry. Prophet no, no. said the believer is anything but a liar. You mean, you mean. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. I was in a position once where I actually sorry, did have to sorry. consider that. Okay, it's okay. May Allah bless you. You are, you are a very. Look, the thing you is, are very rare. Sister, what yeah, you that's said. Not the same. Look, that's not with, with our, our forefathers, let's say, not our own fathers, right? Again, do you know whether they stayed in a marriage? I agree with you. Do we know they didn't cheat? No, I'm exactly. not. I'm they know they didn't go to other women. Wait, let me just so guys mm -hmm. had more access to good one, you know. um, to express their sexuality for the longest time. We're reaching a, a, a time now where women have gained more freedom, where they're now allowed yes. to what's inside to match the outside. Yes, so this is the crisis. Men and it, have done and it, it destroys. For a long time. I'm just saying that and tradition it, has preserved uh, certain things. Tradition has preserved a marriage, but that when doesn't mean Islamic, that people yeah. were necessarily yeah, happy, uh, yes, loyal. True. It's true. Okay, yeah. what's true today is that men will mess around and they'll leave mm -hmm. because they're not able to stick. And to take care of and have leader skill shit. They will. They will. Yeah. That's true. That's true. But now the problem is that women are now doing 
the same. The same. I, I'm sorry, but will I be honest with you? I'm looking at, look, before it was back in the days, men, like, let's be honest, back in the days, men used to be abusing their wives, all kind of stuff, yeah? And cheating. 100%, cheating, all that kind of stuff. Today, I'm sorry, I've been talking this, I speak to some sisters and sisters group, yeah? They're in absolute denial, yeah? Absolute denial. Women are cause, not all, not all, not all. Some women, a lot of them, are causing havoc. Why not? See, look, for example, the husband goes and gets a second wife. Honest, yeah? Boom, divorce. Yeah. Forget divorce. Bruv, divorce. I'm going to accuse you of rape. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to accuse you of pedophilia. I'm going to get, I'm not going to show you your kids. Why? Because he went and got a second wife, yeah, in an honorable way. And the point is, when we talk about this, no, it's, it's an honorable way that he's done it. I'm not talking about a different story, yeah? The thing is here, if we look at statistics, women initiate divorce more, number one. Number two, this is very interesting. That means men are willing to stay in the marriage. Look, you this, always go back no, to polygamy being the main. No, forget polygamy. Marriages. Forget polygamy. I'm sorry, right, right, forget it's polygamy. Not. It's not. It's not. I never, issues. I never, I never said. Stated on that topic. Sister Soul, I never no. said polygamy is the main issue. One of the causes. I have to agree. But where did I say polygamy is the main issue? We're talking about haram. We're talking about alcohol. We're okay, about Sister Soul. Sister Soul. Sister Soul. One second. Can I? Can I finish? Uh, uh, Mr. Monogamous, uh, uh, so-called man. Yeah, listen. When every did I? Argument, when did I say? Sister, every when did I say? When did I say? When did I say? Polygamy is the main issue of divorce. I'm not saying no, that. You're no, 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 one second. One second. Let's speak. No, he's, he's giving an example. One second. One second. When did I? But okay. his example always goes back. No, no, no. no you no, no. Let me tell you something. The brothers that I deal with here, yeah, because we're talking about something that is done that is permissible. Well, um, how, how many men don't marry? No, 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 they don't. Yeah, they don't. Exactly. No, no, I'm not saying the cause of divorce is polygamy. Okay, I'm giving an example. The, our counselor or can, the, the can, sister or the brother. Can we, can we? Is it the... Uh, can, can we just... The point they're trying okay. to make. Can, we, can we just, can we just, can, can we just understand the point? I did not say that the reason why this divorce is because polygamy. How many men get involved in polygamy? Not much. I'm not talking about that. I'm giving one example. The yeah. point is that if a woman, statistics show, and we also know from the Quran and the Sunnah that the man has the power of talaq. That means the woman is initiating the divorce more than a man. So it seems like the man is willing to stay in the marriage. And the woman is more inclined to saying, let's go our separate ways. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying, can that be a connection or cause to why divorces are happening? I'm not saying this, this is the woman to blame, but why is there a so trend I mean? now that, not trend, but statistics show us that women are initiating it more. Because yes, it's a power. And, and now you said that women are now cheating more. Yeah, okay. And there's the example of, for example, and not every woman, of course, and the example of, like you said, men don't lower their gaze when it comes to other women. Women don't lower their gaze when it comes to that. Her husband's doing this for this person. So the issue at hand, I think it's a broad topic, but final statements, because I think maybe we'll need to have a part two of this, yeah? yeah? Um, but, Gabriel, let's... Right. So I think the yeah. 21st century has revealed a lot to us. Uh, women, understanding the fitra of women, the fitra of men. Yes. Um, What's more changed or what has changed more? It's hard to uh, to understand, but definitely mm. both have been affected. I think what we've discovered, though, with men, we've kind of understood men for the past few centuries. You know, men are still, you, you know, they're capable of violence. They're yeah. capable of wars. They, you know, we are very um, hot in terms of, you know, our temperament and so on. It's yeah. kind of known, right? I mean, yes. men, we've kind of, we're able yeah, to assess them. Yeah, we're simple, creature. the we're simple happened, creatures. The only thing that's happening with men right yeah. now is that they're even losing that. They're, as the mm -hmm. sister said, they're kind of becoming more yeah. feminine. They're being mm -hmm. emasculated. It has to deal with a lot of things. Well, and food, women culture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With women now, I think we're learning more about their fitra. And because of the freedom that's been given, yeah. um, we're able to now understand more of what was suppressed inside. Mm. Right? So... Um, culture, family, certain customs, and of course, definitely religion, um, suppressed women. Um, but see, it's not a bad, super, let me, it's not a, a negative suppression necessarily, right? Um, I think that's going to be another discussion, yes. but it suppressed women to the point that we didn't know what's inside. Now with freedom, uh, women are able to express a lot more of what's yes. inside. Which has become more dangerous. Yeah, if you look at um, not at necessarily. The, if you look not at the if you look at the <laughs> the ahkam that deal yeah. with women in the Sharia, they're more strict. Yes, a lot of people don't understand the reason. Yes, okay, they don't understand why it's more strict on women. Why do women have to wear a job? Why not? Us? Why do they have to have a wali, a guardian? Why do they have to wali? Why, why? Why many many actually. issues? Mahram to go to yes. travel. Many yes. things actually, yes. by the way. And. It is because they're uh, easily influenced. Women are easier to influence. There's studies, there's studies that show of, that. One of the studies that I read um, recently that, that the, the 
summary of it, the last sentence was that the rule of thumb when it comes to the female psychology is that what's inside is not necessarily going to be reflected on the outside. Because of modesty. And that's so, the Prophet Sallam said. Mm. Right. So I think that the concept of haya, hijab, and so on is so important for women to to literally to submit. And submission mm -hmm. is to an ex to an extent is suppressing yourself, right? Willingly for the sake of Allah, mm -hmm. is to protect that fitra. Because if that fitra is let loose, and I read today a beautiful statement. It causes that, havoc. That men are tested with their loyalty when they're given power. Yes. Women are tested with their loyalty when they're given freedom. Wow. Okay. So when you look today, and again, as the Prophet said, you will follow them inch by inch mm. into the whole. And the, the Sahaba said, who are you, Rasulullah? Jews and the Christians. He yeah. said, who else? Who else? Mm. Um, when you look, and it's important to look and compare and draw parallels between I mean, these guys are not too far from us, bro. They're just across the street. Mm. Like, we're not living in, yes. in, in uh, not Saudi Arabia, let's mm. say, but we're not living in, like, uh, I don't know, uh, Sudan or mm. something, right? Mm. We're here. They're here next to us. They're our neighbors. Mm. We go to school with them. They're our teachers. Mm. They're our doctors. We are very close, right? So, so it's true. important to see where they've gone. Yes. Right? I would argue that um, when a man is given certain freedoms there's still even the non-muslims bro will have a certain limit right because it, it goes against your manhood to pass that limit mm. even the non-muslims are going to stop at a certain level mm. let's take for example alcohol the way a man behaves with alcohol and the way a woman behaves with alcohol and it's more harmful for a woman by the way when a man the way of a by, um, by the way it's just an example yeah it's just an example mm. uh, when a man is given that freedom and yeah. loses those senses mm. he's going to stop we might fight we might probably most like that's what's going to happen yeah gonna fight when a woman is given alcohol it's, it's like spring though. break yeah and you know yeah it's it's it's, it's, modesty, goes first. it's, it's true, modesty goes first exactly it's, and, and that's, that's exactly what they want that's why they target the woman they first do target that and i don't want to again i know people sometimes don't no like it's the hack bro who cares about people think say? about it just analyze no, I, don't these, right? I never realized that's so um the sharia is, is in the end islam yeah. actually is, is the solution for all our problems Absolutely. yes and you see that that's what comes to promiscuity that's why it's called submission yes it's it's we, we, now it's at a high level like we said and alcohol affects a woman more because of anatomy the way she's created um, and just even yeah, it has a, a, a big impact. It's a discussion we can carry on. Uh, just just finish on last statement, please quickly, because we've got. Can next I just to... want to talk about the healing please. path just to conclude? Please, that's my. Um, that's what we need. Inshallah. That's why I want the divorce sisters, all the bro the brothers that are divorced. Yes. Bring to start the mic a bit closer to path. And, yeah, and please just don't move on to the next person, thinking okay. that that person will fix you and will help you heal. Mm -hmm. That's yes. your responsibility in front of Allah Azza wa Jal. That's your own journey to take. That person can support you while you already started this journey. Mm -hmm. And my sisters, I will, I will address my sisters because that's what I am used to. Mm -hmm. um, address the, the divorce healing. It starts with the qabul and tawakul. That's mm -hmm. the two words I always mention to the sisters. Mm -hmm. Qabul in a way that you accept. That it's not necessarily a punishment. Like the brother was explaining that very often is the... Um, the guilt feeling, you know, it's my fault. Even if the person mm. left you, very often you will get, I didn't do this. Saying things it's were good. your fault. Self-accountability self is very important. Very it's so a beautiful blessing. How, how do you know when you've healed though? And when to, it's, it's where, is that, where is that, that line that, okay, I'm healed now and I can move on and the person's going to support me? Because I believe that I think it's, it's hard to tell. And, yeah. and it's I'm, very I'm, hard to tell. I'm another not gonna... person who, who mm. really commits to you can be part of the healing. Absolutely. They can help you heal to move on. No, but I'm saying like you, this intention has to start. That? I have met sisters that are moving on to marriage. They're not healed. You can clearly say they're How still you know angry. Mm -hmm. The way they speak about their ex-marriage, it's all the husband's fault. It's all him. And there is a lot of anger, resentment. And they are really hoping that that guy will fix whatever happened. It's, it's I like, am not saying he doesn't yeah. help you. He can help you. Mm. And I hope you find someone, inshallah, my no, sister. Limited. In a time frame will help but, you. But... Yes. And the second part was tawakkul. Put your trust in Allah Azza wa Jalla. That no matter what happened to you, my biggest trial, and I'm going to talk on a personal mm. level, yes. became my biggest blessing. Open what? my eye, bring me back to Allah Azza wa Jalla. In a way that was, I was always a jibabi, always, always like that. But yeah. the blessing, the you know, in the ma'al, you know, the, 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 the yes. success that Allah Azza wa Jalla gives you when you accept the test, mm. when you understand the deepness of it, and the khair that Allah Azza wa Jalla, yeah. if you're looking for hub, love, Allah is al-mahboob. If you are worried about the risk, 
Allah is the Razak. If you are looking for a friend, someone to confine to, Allah is El Wali. Remember who is your Lord. And I always advise the first advice I give to my sisters, Fila, that go through that struggle. And Wallahi, my brothers, they are suffering. And it's a very big, big test. I am not uh, undermining brothers' test. So, I'm just talking about what so I mean. From, from a female perspective, though, again, maybe sister, how do you know a woman healed? Where's, how do you, where, where do you think... reach that loving? Like, okay, you know what? I, I don't think you now. ever heal. I'm going to be honest. So, no, yeah, you know? yeah you, you don't ever. I think if you're ready to move on, you're ready to move on. Right? Mm. I really do think that. But in that time of moving on, you do need to have self-reflection. You do need to take steps to have self-development and, and, and advise your partner, your future partner <laughs> or your spouse at the time that you are going through it. So there's support and they're able to handle it. It's true. I'm going to wrap up. Uh, but it's interesting. But you know one thing as well. You said sometimes you never heal. Yeah, and I think maybe it is that and seeing the goal we need of the brothers. I can cry no, no, 100%, now just talking about it. 100%, 100%. You know, if I was yeah. to go really yeah, deep yeah, into yeah. it. It doesn't mean you're not here. It doesn't mean that it's Exactly, exactly. Still, so that's yeah. why yeah. I think that's why what the brothers were saying that sometimes brothers are a little bit apprehensive because they're like, okay, if the healing is not totally there. But then again, like I said, look, it's it's a discussion where look, some sisters they go through divorce and it makes them the, the better. Question? Maybe how Sorry, can, can I assess the healing? All right, quickly, sister. About I, healing. How can, how can quickly. you assess someone quickly. if it's the person is healed or not? Next, a next, next, next. Perspective yes. or no, no, no. The, 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 that for the next episode, you're gonna get the okay, sister. Okay. I finish and talk. About your color. question, how do you know? Leaving a cliffhanger. Healed. Yes. So don't I don't think triggered. we're always going to be fully healed because there's always going to be triggers, regardless of what phase you are in your life. But it's knowing yourself, who you are. And I think it's putting yourself in a mindset is if I was to be faced with this situation again tomorrow, how would I react? What would I do, do mm. differently? Do mm. I have enough confidence in me to know that I can tame this situation, that I can yeah. control my anger and my mm. own nafs or whatever it may be that triggers you? It's knowing that I'm believing in yourself. We have to believe in ourselves that our marriage will work because of the hard work we've put in. We can't just go in it blindly. Yes, it's great that they could assist us. But if you are, mm. as I said, I think you're always healing. So there's always going to be somebody there to assist you. I mean, your partner will always assist you. But you don't want to go into a marriage and almost saying, right, here's my baggage. Yeah. It's 50% there. But I've dealt 50% with it. The rest you sort of need to guide me on. Because they could have their own traumas or their own problems that they're also healing with. And it's somewhat unfair. I think if you work together as a team... And that's different, but I don't entirely think it's fair to put it on mm. them. It's just knowing within yourself, yes, mm. I can handle this. I am closer to Allah and I believe mm. in myself. May Allah bless you, Sister Aya, our honorable sisters, our dear brothers. Uh, inshallah, till next time, brothers and sisters from the Bitter Truth Show. Um, if we missed anything, Gia, comment in the section below. Tell us, Brother Ali, speak about this next time, inshallah. And may Allah forgive us for our shortcomings, inshallah. And hope mm. this is giving you some kind of insight and some kind of hope, inshallah. Till next time from the Bitter Truth. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The Prophet وسلم, said, Whoever builds a masjid for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah will build for him a similar house in Jannah. On that day where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us that our books will be given and every little atom weight of good deed you've done will be there. And imagine you see a mountain and you're like, what a lucky person. Which righteous person? And Allah says, this is for you. For me? Yes. What did I do? You allowed people to pray. You built a masjid. I never had the money to build a masjid, oh Allah. You helped, you gave towards it, and Allah gives you the reward of as if you've built it. Donate now, guys, and do not delay. And share the video for extra rewards.